Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. A 28-year-old youth identified as Bikash Kara, son of Vaidyanath Kara of Manatri village under Baisingha police station in Mayurbhanj district, died while playing cricket Sunday. Police have registered a case of unnatural death and have sent the body for post-mortem. They suspect it to be a case of heart attack. A crew member of Indonesian cargo ship MV Debi attempted to die by suicide Sunday after the vessel was detained with more than 22 kilograms of cocaine worth Rs 220 crore at Paradip port. The person slit his wrist and jumped into the sea. He was rescued and is currently undergoing treatment at the Paradip port hospital. The Bhitarkanika National Park in Kendrapada district reopened for visitors Sunday after remaining closed from January 5 to 15 in view of counting of saltwater crocodiles. The census was conducted in five ranges and carried out by teams comprising of forest department staffers and experts. Union Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav said Sunday that he won't contest from the Balasore constituency in the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. I will not contest from Balasore. We have Pratap Nana and former Union Minister Pratap Sadangi who have won from Balasore. So I won't contest from Balasore, Vaishnav said. A businessman identified as Bisujit Nayak of Sagua village under Baliantha police limits was found dead Sunday with his throat slit on the outskirts of Bhubaneswar. Police said that Bisujit was killed two days back. They suspect it to be a case of family feud which led to Bisujit's alleged murder. Authorities in Katak have strictly banned the use of Chinese thread while flying kites as part of the celebrations for Makar Sankranti. Katak DCP Anil Mishra said Sunday strict action would be taken against those flying kites using the Chinese manja threads. In a setback for Congress in Mumbai ahead of Lok Sabha polls, former Union Minister Milin Deora quit the party Sunday to walk the path of development and join the Shiv Sena led by Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, ending a 55 years old association of the Deora family with the Grand Old Party. Today marks the conclusion of a significant chapter in my political journey. I have tendered my resignation from the primary membership of the Indian National Congress, Deora said in a release. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi embarked Sunday on the Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra from Thobal in Manipur with a promise to bring peace and harmony in the ethnic violence hit state. Addressing a public meeting in Thobal, Rahul also hit out at Prime Minister Narendra Modi, saying perhaps for the BJP and the RSS, Manipur is not a part of India. Around 100 heads from 55 countries including ambassadors and MPs have been invited to the Pran Pratishta ceremony January 22 at the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. Swami Vigyananda, founder and global chairman of the World Hindu Foundation said Sunday. Among the country heads that have been invited are Argentina, Australia, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, South Africa, UK and USA. China, however, does not feature in the list of invitees. Maldives President Mohammad Moizu gave a deadline Sunday to India to withdraw its troops from the island nation by March 15. The development comes a few days after Mohammad Moizu met Xi Jinping on his first state visit to China after being elected. The President's office said in release, Indian military personnel cannot stay in the Maldives. This is the policy of the President Dr. Mohammad Moizu and that of this administration. Indian shooters continued to hit the bullseye Sunday in the Asia Olympic qualifiers at Jakarta, with Yogesh Singh winning the men's 25-meter individual standard pistol gold medal in the individual event. He then combined with Amit Kumar and Om Prakash to claim the team event gold. Satvik Sairaj, Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty faltered at the finishing line to end their dream run at the Malaysia Open Super 1000 badminton tournament with a narrow loss Sunday in the men's doubles final against world number one Chinese Liang Wei Keng and Wang Chang in Kuala Lumpur. The Indians lost 21-9, 18-21, 17-21. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.